What's up, guys? It's Geo Beck again for episode 10 of our Pokemon Emerald Randomizer Nuzlocke. In the last episode, we got absolutely destroyed when facing, um, what's her face, Flannery. <laughs> um, we lost our two best members of our party, Robin the Grobet and Dumpster Diver the Linoon, two sun boosted overheats. So we needed to grind up more members of the party. Um, I ended up deciding on uh, Michelin. And we got a new encounter, as seen in the grinding montage, uh, Lee the Cacnea, but we'll get to him later. As you guys can also see, we don't have a Taku the Grovile anymore. <laughs> About that, so we were facing a Sand Slash in the grinding montage, and it kept using Sand Attack, and I kept missing my Absorbs, and then I got poisoned, and then I died. So, we've lost our, <laughs> essentially our best three members of our party in the span of an episode and a grinding montage. So that's just wonderful. But uh, checking out uh, Michelin, who we grinded up in the grinding montage, has Natural Cure, Quiet Nature, with Peck, taught it Steel Wing because it needs a better move, Takedown, and Sing. Then we have Lava Camel the Numel, who is a returning member of our party with Magnitude Tackle, Ember, and Takedown, up to level 32, which is really cool. And then we have Severus the Main Natric with the ability Static. With uh, Spark, Thunder Wave, Quick Attack, and Shockwave. And then Lee, the Cacnea, who we caught in the grinding montage. Level 26 with the Absorb, Growth, Lead Sheet, and Pin Missile. Many of you may be asking, well, Geo, why did you name your Cacnea Lee? Well, so, I was thinking, alright, Cacnea has spikes. What else has spikes, or who else is named Spike? And I was like, Spike, Spike Lee, Cacnea is Spike Lee. Spike Lee confirmed. Alright, so that's so that's how that name came about. We're actually going to run back through here to make our way to Petalburg City to take on our dad in the gym, and that's what today's episode is going to be taking on Norman. Um overall I think we've made some great progress just as we're running through these. Pokemon, wild Pokemon, I'm going to find something to talk about. I think we've made pretty good progress with the lock so far. It hasn't gone as well as I've wanted it to go, purely because we've lost a lot of the members of our party who I wanted to keep and who I felt were some very iconic members of the party. But, you know, it is what it is. It stinks. Oh, also, one thing I forgot to mention is we ended up hatching the egg for why not, and oh, and look at the death box, so sad, but yeah, we ended up hatching the why not egg, so that's, that is no longer in our party, I'm gonna run down here, and talk to Mr. Briny, head over to Dufer Town, speed through all this magic, ahoy, we landed in Duford, landed in Duford, and then head back to Puddleburg. Alrighty, we have arrived in Petalburg with Pico and whatnot. <laughs> and then back to Petalburg City Gym. Alright, so I'm actually just going to run into the Pokemon real quick and make sure we, we're stocked up on potions and stuff. Because this gym has the potential to be really, really hard. Super Potion, we have 14. Goodbye, 80 more. I'm just going to go for another 16, get us up to an even 30. I know we have Antidotes and Paralyzed Heals. I don't think we'll need those too much. But what I am going to do is put the strongest member of our party, in my opinion, up front right now, which is Severus, because Severus will be super duper, actually, hold on, Severus is going to be super duper important in this gym for taking out the Slay Kings and whatnot. Move, alright, that's the death box. I know this is absolutely terrible, but heaven forbid that we get in a situation where we need to sack something like how we needed to sack Brittany in the first gym. We're going to bring Goat the Gulpin and Tank the wor the Wurmple with us as death fodder. To where if we need a free turn, then we can get a free turn. Can you give me, do you give me a thing? Okay, no you don't. Speed room, the sign says. Yeah, I'll go through, no problem. Because hopefully I'll be able to just one-shot everything that you have with Manetric. Oh yeah, here's Swellow. <laughs> Easy one-hit knockout. 
There we go. I I am probably going to battle everybody, which shouldn't actually take too long. Accuracy room. Ain't nobody care. Which normal type are you rolling with? You're rolling with Del Caddy. That's cool. Bye bye. Faint attack. Oh wow, that actually did a lot, but that was a crit, so. Lee is up to level 27, and we are going to get some significant level gain in this episode, simply because we're not grinding up against, like, level 15th anymore. That was a long grinding montage. The defense room, sure. Higher defense, higher attack. Sure, go for it. Here's Wigglytuff. Hit you up with that spark. Going to go for the defense curl. Doesn't matter. I'll be able to take you out with another spark. Sweet. Making our way through this gym relatively easily. Oh, we already battled you, but this is the confusion room, meaning that you're going to be annoying. Here's Spinda. I'm going to go for Shockwave. Taught him Shockwave, too. You have Focus Punch. That's scary. A sub-punching Spinda. New meta, guys. All right. Making our way through the next room. Making our way downtown. All right. Is this the one-hit KO room? Yeah, go for it. I'm terrified now. Oh, because you're going to just crit everything. That's cool. Well, you got one hit KO'd. Hold that crit. How fitting. All right, we're going to go into the strength room. And about you. You're not going to take it easy on me, even if I'm the leader's kid. No problem. Hold the spark. You're going to swords dance. That's actually really bad. Thank goodness I was able to knock you out there. Severus is up to level 33, which is really, really cool. Um... Have I battled everybody? Alright, let me go through this way. Have I gone in here? Recovery room, I have not. That's cool. What do you have? Oh, you have slack off. Okay, you're going to be an easy then. That was nice. Um, one hit KO room, already been in here. Gym leader's room, alright. So I'm just going to go back and heal up right now, just because I don't want to be in a situation where I don't have enough PP to use a certain move or whatnot. We are going to lead with our main metric, just because main metric is amazing, and main metric is probably our best option. So here's Norman. Let me just... Actually, what what is stronger, Spark or... Spark has a 65 power, while Shockwave has a 60. So I'm going to go with Spark as our primary attacking move. Um, and so here is Norman. Hmm. So you did get four gym badges. Fun. As I promised, we will have a Pokemon battle. Geo. I'm so happy that I can have a real battle with my own child. But a battle is a battle. I will do everything in my power as a gym leader will win. Geo, you better give it your best shot too. No problem. Alright, here's Spenda. Spenda will not be a problem. It's going to use Facade. Easy peasy. Vigor off. I'm just going to stay in because I'm fairly certain I can tank whatever hit. Okay, so Lee is up to level 28. That's cool. You're about to... Oh, too soon. Here comes Lightning. All right, we're going out to tank just so I can get a free <laughs> turn to heal up. If you go for Swords Dance or something, I'm going to be mad. All right, you just go for Facade, and that is going to add to another debt that we have in the lock, but that's okay because uh, nice and clean revenge kill for Severus. All right, here's Slaking. Slaking is a problem. I'm going to go out on a Goat. Goat, I know this is not a great position for you right now. But, okay, you're not going to live anyway. I was going to say, if you can live, you will be amazing forever. Sweet, you're paralyzed. Oh, no, that's going to boost Facade's power. Can I live a Facade? Can I live a Facade? That is the question. All right. Who has the highest defense on the team? Your defense is 52. Your defense is 41. Your defense is 51. Your defense is 32. All right. So, if anyone's going to take it, it's going to be Manetric. Um, I'm going to go for Spark again. Okay, you're going to go for Yawn. That's okay. You have a Citrus Berry? That stinks. So I'm going to get the free switch into Lava Camel as you're loafing around. And I'm going to go for the Magnitude. I get a Magnitude 7. That's cool. You go for Yawn again. You're just Yawn shuffling me. That's really not cool. Severus, you can do it. Spark, don't go for Facade. Ah, no. I will. <laughs> That, that was not good whatsoever. Stop using Hyper Potion. My goodness. Magnitude 8. You're paralyzed. Sweet. Magnitude 6. Loafing around. Magnitude 9. Oh, facade. Gosh dang it. Peck. Crit. 
Hyper Potion. Guess dang it. Peck. Loafing around. Peck. Counter. Peck. Come on. You can do this, Michelin. You can do this. The hacks is on my side right now. Facade. Okay. Uh, okay, so the entire lock rests on the small little feet of uh, Spike Lee right now. We're going to go for Absorb. Please don't. Yes. We may be able to do this. Slay, Slay King's loafing around, and we ended up defeating Leader Norman, but we got absolutely washed out. That was that was terrible. My goodness, no, I I don't I don't really care about you right now. I'm speeding through this part because I'm frustrated. <laughs> Taint HMO three, All right? So that is going to be today's episode where we get absolutely cleaned out by Norman. <laughs> Uh, that when I paralyzed the slaking, that was just all sorts of terrible. Who has the XP share right now? Yeah, it's still Lee. All right. So we only had four deaths before this, and now we have nine. Um, retiring Lava Camel and Severus. Man, look at the power in this box, barring Wismer. By noon. Crobat, Grovile, Maynetric, Lava Camel, Numel. Uh, we're going to have to retire Michelin, our Swablu, who I grinded up from like level 12. Tank, you didn't really do anything at all. Thank you for at least letting me get Maynetric up to full health, and thank you, Gulpin. Alright, so this seems to be a common theme where we're just constantly rebuilding the party. So, what do you guys, comment question of the day, what do you guys want to see me use in the next episode that we have in the box? I'm going to have to do a lot, a lot, a lot of grinding. A lot of grinding indeed. Bef or else we're going to get absolutely destroyed. I'm also going to have to catch someone who can learn surf, because I don't think any of these people can learn surf. I, I've been wrong before, but I don't think they can. So I'm actually going to go do that right now. Do I have a fishing rod? No, I don't have a fishing rod. Alright. So that's what I'm going to do in the grinding montage. I'm going to get something that learns surf um, as just like a surf slave. And then, uh, didn't mean to run into you, but you know, if you wish. Nice, powerful Lee. <laughs> and then I'm going to explore the routes grind up as high as I can get. I don't care if I'm overleveled at this point. It's just me and Lee. Me and Lee at this point. <laughs> That's going to be the title of today's episode. Me and Lee. Other than that, guys, thank you for watching. If you guys did enjoy the episode, please make sure to slap that like button. Make sure to uh, answer today's comment question of the day, which is, I mentioned it earlier, but if you weren't paying attention, it is, uh, what Pokemon in our box do you want to see us use in the next episode? If you guys are enjoying the constant content, please make sure to subscribe, and other than that, I will catch you on the flip-flop.